Hey, what is going on guys? It's Yellow Sports here and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Imperium Romanum. And uh, in this episode, well, some of you guys suggested that we take out the micro nations. And uh, I think that I shall actually do that. So we shall just fire war goal against both. Hopefully they won't get protected. I don't think they will. So yeah, we're, we shall uh, take care of them. Let me just, uh, I'll bring down two divisions. I think that's going to be good enough. Alright, let's pause. Just bring two divisions. Um, what did I want to say? Ah, yes. I don't know how many of you guys saw my uh, Let's Play as um, Yugoslavia. But, yeah, when we... Yeah, Slovakia just joined NATO. But um, I had a massive war in Algeria. So yeah, I'm not taking these countries lightly. We shall need to pour a lot of troops in here. And what I found out is that light mechanized is utterly, utterly terrible against these sorts of units. And uh, we shall need to use a lot more infantry. So um, we'll see how that goes. I shall move these units in uh, the position to attack. Because these micro nations do indeed have, uh, if I can click, yeah, quite a shit ton of stuff. Montenegro gains independence. That's nice. <clears throat> now, how's Russia doing? They're still not fascist. Nor is India. I got fucking annoyed by India in, in the last game. China, however, is quite good. So, yeah. We'll see. Uh, it's kind of sad that I actually cannot attack these straight away. It's kind of retarded. But, hey. Who am I to judge their... Uh, Focus tree. Two thousand and six FIFA World Cup. I can only imagine how we went. But yeah, we're still building our uh, naval defenses. Not a lot of them left. <clears throat> and yeah, this let's play is going to be a lot longer than uh for example, what I did in the in the live stream. So yeah, I don't know how many of you actually saw my live stream. Oh, there goes the army focus. So let's see what else do we have. Let's go for small arms. Because we could definitely get an upgrade. What are we producing? Completely forgot it because I haven't been recording for a while. Still building that mighty fleet of destroyers. We have plenty of weapons. Our anti tanks just got improved. Uh, let's get am advanced anti tank weapons. Are we even building those? Now we're now producing artillery. But yeah, that's okay. We have one missile cruiser and a shit ton of destroyers, which are probably going to get sunk straight away. But I don't care. <coughs> so we can declare war on Vatican on the 6th of September. That should give us quite a bit of factories. San Marino also has quite a bit of factories. Apparently, because that's how they roll. That's how these countries roll. Good thing I didn't take care of them early on. Also, uh, yeah, the Iraq war, the Iraq war started, and uh, it seems that the Iraqis are holding on, like they always do. But then the USA will start nuking them because that's how they roll. Yeah, they lost thirty-one thousand. How much did? Okay, Turkey lost 254,000. Turkey, you should go kill yourself right now. Yeah, Turkey's losing. Turkey's getting genocided right now, apparently. What the fuck is Turkey doing? What in the actual hell is Turkey doing? 
It seems that they're just attacking uh, Iraqi positions willy-nilly. Trying to kill as much as they can, but they're actually the ones getting slaughtered. Seems that the I <laughs> seems that Saddam Hussein is gonna fucking push into Turkey and destroy them. Eh. Fun. Ah, uh, let's see. Can't wait to take out the Vatican. That should boost my production quite a bit. They don't have that many men, <laughs> or the San Marino really, but I'll get. A shit ton of industry. Oh, that's oh fuck, that was Kyrgyzstan. So Kyrgyzstan just do joined CSTO. Okay, even though Kazakhstan left it. Yeah, because of the uh, they went. Oh, okay, finally. Now I can join Russia. All right. So the Greater Russian Empire is led by Andreev Savelyev. And uh, we've joined CSTO, guys, so that's great. Also, let's hope that China actually joins. Don't know when they will. Oh, unfulfilled import requests. Steal from the Soviet... Okay, why not? Why don't you send me stuff? I need more. Uh, who can give me more? India. Thank you. I shall trade with you, indeed. Also, look at Iraq. How many Turk... Alright, small arms program is done. Uh, let's go for uh, light vehicles. Um, how many troops did Turkey lose? 300,000. They're actually killing Iraqis now. Oh, right there we go. We can attack Vatican. Actually just march in. Take care of the Pope. Quickly. There we go. Yes, I shall uh, gladly take it. And they give me a shit ton of factories. Yay! <laughs> right, let me build more... Uh, more light, Mick. Okay. It also gave me a shit ton of uh, civilian factories, which is great. Uh, when can we declare war on San Marino? Uh, 30th of November. I don't know if that's in this episode or not. That should be. But yeah, freaking Iraq, man. Also, Russia. Let's see how good Russia is. Uh, okay. Why are they making so much cavalry? I don't know, but uh, seems that Russians love their cavalry. They have quite a bit of troops stationed over here. And uh, quite a bit of troops stationed over here. Some on the border with Ukraine. Well, in all, not too bad. They have a grand total of 107 divisions. Modify government. Let's see what we can do. Alright, let's actually see the taxes. If I go low taxes... Uh, I have better national unity research time. Well, let's go for that. I don't. I mean, research time will be worse, but uh, my factory output will be better. So why not? <clears throat> why not? I tell you. We only lost one. Oh, Greater English Commonwealth. Okay, where is that? Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 So, uh, this happened. BNP took charge in Britain. Look at that flag, though. I can't actually dig that flag. Can't dig that flag. I hope these guys now leave NATO. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> well, it seems we'll get a new ally. Britannia. Britannia rules the waves. Um, it seems that the whole world is kind of turning fascist. Who would have thought? I just really jo uh, really wish that uh, these two would join CSTO. Because we need stronger countries to fight on our side. And you've seen, if you've uh, if you've watched my uh, uh, live stream with, with Yugoslavia, you'll know how terrible the AI is in this game. So, yeah. 
Right, San Marino is still not under. We cannot attack it yet. But yeah, the Greater Russian Empire. Lol. I lolled. But yeah, BMP actually has a kind of an awesome flag. I, I know it misses something. Uh, it's... Well, uh, I'll need to check. Hold on. It's actually in advance our tanks. But uh, it misses one part, and I think that's the... Uh, it's not the Scottish part. Is it the Irish part? No. Actually, I don't know which one is it, and why is it black? But I dig the flag. I dig the black flag. Someone will probably tell me what's going on there. But NATO just lost one of their valuable members, so I'm not gonna sit here and whine about it now. Far from it, actually. So, uh, yeah. That's fun. How are we doing in the uh, USA, actually? We're we boosting India, China, still Russia, and USA. We have 20% in the USA. Democratic Party has a shit ton there. Could probably start a war. Also, our right, it's getting fucked now. You get fucked, mid. You get fucked. But Turkey lost a shit ton as well. And so the Germ. Well, Germany lost. Japan adapts Article 9. That's interesting. Come on, we need to take San Marino out. Oop, there we go. Just as I said. Alright. Conquer. Again. We shall quickly walk in. And they're done. Thank you. Alright. So, Rome is now solidified once again. We have gained a couple of factories again. What did they actually have in Marino? Oh, these were all military factories, so we just filled out a... Right, so these guys are going over here. To the defensive... Actually, the defensive line needs to be modified. Because... Uh, don't worry. So, are these our aircraft? Nope, not for lints. Right, we'll need to extend our border completely. Let's roll. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll need to make a couple more Alpine divisions, like ten. Then we'll build a wall. Massive, massive wall. But yeah, we've done two coups in this episode. The Greater Russian Empire became something, and the uh, apparently called... Uh, what is it called? Greater English Commonwealth. Huh. Now, let's just hope they join us. But anyway, we have weakened them severely, and that's great. Poor Iraq, they're really trying. They're actually killing a lot of them. Uh, we just now need to switch over people in India, which should hopefully happen soon as well. And then I can start with my reconquest of Tunisia, uh, which for which I need a freaking... Light mechanized, but I also need a shit, shit ton of uh, marines, which I need to research, and I completely forgot to do that, actually. My navy is quite strong, I think they'll support the invasion. We have two missile cruisers, we, we, we shall name this one. Uh, RM, we have Imperator Atlas, we'll name this one. Hmm... Let's call it Julius. Was it like. I don't know. Was it C Caesar? Oh, we're now a member of the Security Council. Great. That's gonna help us with some political power gain. <coughs> Put 
But yeah, now we're a member of the CSTO. Things are looking up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I shall see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.